Hey everyone, today we're going to run some test hands on the Sagi the Dark Clown custom archetype. Here we go. So we are opening up with Peaton, Penguin, Quinn, Bane, and the Dark Clown car. So the first is there's a few things that we can do with this hand depending on what we think our opponent has. Probably one of the safer things that you could do is discard Quinn to special summon Penguin. And this allows you to then search a Dark Clown monster from your deck to your hand. And we would search out. Scarecrow. There we go. Okay, so now we can normal summon Scarecrow. And the reason for that is just in case we think our opponent has a hand trap, Scarecrow can negate at least one of those. We'll activate Dark Clown car and activate the Penguin's effect to send back a Dark Clown from our hand or field to the deck. And we will activate its ability to then draw a card. So we draw. And since we drew a card, Dark Clown car effect activates. We reveal that. And since it is a Dark Clown monster, we can special summon it and draw another card. Rinse and repeat until we draw a card that isn't a Dark Clown monster. Keep going. And looks like we hit the full board. To get that final draw. So now we've got five Dark Clown monsters on the field. The probably the ones that you want to keep on the board are Ivy and Scarecrow while you exceed summon the other three into Joker the Dark Clown. Now Joker the Dark Clown, when it is exceed summon, it retrieves back a Dark Clown monster from a graveyard. So we'll add back that Quinn. And we can use Quinn again. Special summon the Two-Face and add freeze the Dark Clown from our deck to our hand. So what we are left with here on the board is the ability to switch a monster that our opponent controls with Two-Face. Ivy protects all our other Dark Clown monsters from being destroyed by battle. And if this card is destroyed, then we can target a card on the field and destroy it. Scarecrow negates a monster effect. Freeze allows us to be able to negate an effect that would add a card from our opponent's deck to their hand or special summon from their deck. And then Joker the Dark Clown can detach a material to protect our Dark Clowns from leaving the field by an effect. And then of course, when we get into our next draw phase, Dark Clown car will work its magic again. So let's try another test hand. So here we're opening up a little bit slower. We don't have anything to get Dark Clown car going right off the bat. What I would probably do here is go ahead and just set that Dark Clown out of box. You could also maybe set the Dark Clown card to set yourself up for some combos coming into your next draw phase, unless you think your opponent might be able to get rid of it, just depending on how risky you feel. But with Dark Clown in a box on the field, we could activate that on our opponent's turn. Special summon whichever Dark Clown monster we needed. If we wanted to switch control with an opponent's monster, we could get Two-Face. If we wanted to negate a monster effect, we could get Scarecrow. Probably maybe get Scarecrow, negate a monster effect, and set that Crush card. And activate it if we need to by tributing that scarecrow to destroy all the monsters our opponent controls that have 1500 attack or more on the field and in their hand then of course we also have freeze in our hand to negate a card search or a special summon from the deck there you have the dark clown archetype as you can see a lot of small monsters running around but the more of them that you're able to pair together the more amazing effects that you can access as well as being able to pair them with powerful cards like the virus cards to be able to further rid your opponent of their resources so let us know your feedback in the comments and check out the full showcase there with the card in the corner or the link in the description and be sure to like and subscribe as we get into our first villains card coming up next week